Eight is on your side tonight with some advice to protect yourself when renting a limo in Florida. After the deaths of 20 people in New York, there's new nationwide scrutiny on stretch limousines. News Channel 8's Jen Holloway shows us how Florida's laws differ from other states. Well, Keith and Jen, they differ by a long shot and not necessarily for the better. Friends and families continue to cope with a crash that forever changed their lives. This is the most deadly transportation accident in this country since February of 2009. It's news that hit home with Tampa businessman Michael Harvey. My heart just sank for the families. He's been in the Tampa transportation industry for about 11 years. Witnesses say that a modified 2001 Ford excursion sped down a hill, lost control, spinning out, killing a total of 20 people. Something that could possibly happen here, Harvey says, unless Florida tightens up its transportation regulations. We don't have a lot of laws or any laws at all that really pertain to the stretching, the modifying, the chopping of cars and making them into limousines. They have almost like an assembly line type process. And then you have some smaller manufacturers that are really kind of doing one-off cars. And that's where it gets a little bit precarious. He says until the state tightens its regulations, take two steps to protect yourself. So you can call the Consumer Protection Bureau to see if there's been any complaints filed against the company. Secondly, he suggests checking the Hillsborough County Tax Collector's website. They have a vehicle for hire page, and you can see that all the companies that have legitimately went through the process. And one third piece of advice, Harvey also recommends choosing a transportation company that allows you to come to its site where they have all of their vehicles to inspect those vehicles and perhaps meet the driver in person. In the Tampa News Center, Jen Holloway, News Channel 8.